The following presentation describes a simple process for molding and casting a plastic army soldier using composite mold, a reusable mold making material that can be used to make many unique molds. Each mold can be used to make many castings. The first step is to prepare your army soldier for cloning. A PVA water mixture is sprayed onto the soldier. This PVA mixture consists of about one teaspoon of Elmer's glue or an equivalent type of glue into a cup of water. This solution helps eliminate bubble formation when molding. Hot glue is used to hold the soldier in the cup so it doesn't float. A hot glue gun, a piece of polymer clay, or possibly a piece of double sided tape would also work. Your soldier is now ready to be molded. Melt the composite mold in the microwave. Times will vary depending on the size of the container you are melting. This small container takes from 30 seconds to a minute depending on your microwave. Mix the composite mold to ensure heat is distributed evenly. Pour the composite mold over your plastic soldier. Let cool. You can speed up the cooling by placing your mold in the refrigerator. When solidified, remove your mold from the container. Cut the mold to remove the original soldier. Where you cut will become the parting line. When casting, you may need to tape these two sides of the part together. Your mold is now ready for casting. Spray in a mold release and let the mold release completely dry before continuing. It is now time to make the casting. Mix the resin. Here we use composite cast urethane resin. The mix is 10 grams of part 1 and 10 grams of part 2. Composite cast is mixed in equal amounts by weight or by volume. Mix thoroughly and pour into the mold. Squeeze the mold to push out any bubbles that may get trapped, especially around the gun barrel.
let the urethane solidify. When solidified, split the mold and remove your new soldier. You have made your first soldier for the Clone Wars. Clean up with your fingers or use a knife. Composite mold mold can be reused to make another soldier or remelted to make a new mold. For more information, visit compositemold.com. Thank you for your time and enjoy.